quick video on gold gear place guys so before we start this video i want to say that it, there is no need to go to plus 11 or higher gear as of right now plus 10 is perfectly fine for whatever content you need to do in this game so i highly advise holding on to these plates until the next big content release probably going to be world 14 i want to highly recommend that you guys hold your gold plates until then but if you want to go ahead and use them I'll go ahead and give some priorities on to what you, what you can use for your gold plates. Now, first one, uh, general gold plates. These don't have that much value. They give additional stats to your auxiliaries. That's pretty much it. I say the best best value if you want to get something out of these is if you have um, gold fire control radars, use it on those. Now the, now, the second priority would be white shells, but the reason why I put gold fire control radar over... Uh, the white shells is because when you guys get these or uh, when you guys get these to uh, plus 13 or whatever you get like nine or something more uh, hit rate and a few more firepower but the nine hit rate is definitely worth more than 13 firepower or whatever from uh, the white shells where these things right here so um, I put high focus on gold fire control control radars first if you guys don't have those if you really 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 want to use it on something uh, white shells to be second I wouldn't recommend on Steam Catapults, you don't get that much um, aviation from them. But white shells are work perfectly fine. I wouldn't invest into anything else because obviously for auxiliaries, you want to invest into your highest damage dealers. And for the most part, those are carriers and battleships. In this case, the gold Falcon Trader has the best value when you get it to plus 13 or whatever. Now the second one is main gun plates. So these are going to be used in many, many ways. You have destroyer guns, cruiser guns, uh, battleship guns. But to get the most out of these, you want to use it on battleship guns. Because battleships do the most damage, obviously, in combat. Especially in the big fights, battleships do the most damage. Now, when it comes to battleships, there are two guns I want to put emphasis on when it comes to those gold plates. The first one, I'll already, I'll already go over here, is the... APMK6, the champagne gun. Now, this is really easy to get to plus 13. It costs about, I believe, 120 plates total to get to 113. So if you really guys, if you guys really want to get something at plus 13, this is probably the best for bang for your buck in terms of dumping uh gold plates to get the most out of damage and whatnot. If you really, really want to go for this, go ahead. You don't really need it, but if you really want to go for a plus 13 gun, APMK6 would definitely be worth it. Now the other choice is the 457 now the reason why i don't recommend doing this but i'm going to do it regardless is the amount of place it, it costs to get to 457 to plus 13 is triple the amount it costs to get uh the apmk6 the apmk6 is 120 plates total i believe the uh the 457 457 costs like 100 no it costs 340 plates total to get to this and Obviously, I like the 457 way more. It gives way more incentives with my playstyle, and honestly, it's a really, really, really good gun overall. But if you want bang for your buck, though, definitely APMK6. But if you want to play the long con, long con like me, I'm gonna save for the plus 13 on the 457. Go for this if you want to. <clears throat> now, um, that's for main guns. The third one we have, I believe, it's torpedoes. If I'm not mistaken, it's torpedoes. Torpedoes, yeah. So torpedoes, they don't really do anything. It's just additional um, um, operation siren damage. So you can, you guys can choose what you uh, want to uh, upgrade with. Uh, my best advice is whatever torpedoes you have on your boss fleets, upgrade those to plus 13 if you really, really want to. Um, I would, I would honestly because um, I think it's going to happen one day. Wait until, um, where is it at? If I can find it. Wait until uh, the day they release Rainbow, these versions, and then upgrade those. Otherwise, if you guys really want to upgrade something right now, those golds are okay. Or you can upgrade the uh, the homing the homing torpedoes, like the uh, the quints and the quads. If you, if you have quads, those work too. I highly recommend just doing those, but... I would definitely wait though until the rainbow quads come out whenever those come out. Those are probably going to be the ones I'm going to upgrade. And the next one is anti-air. Again, not, nothing crazy about anti-air. It's just Operation Siren damage, so nothing too drastic. If you guys really want to upgrade something with these, 
obviously you want to put these on your battleships because they're going to want they're going to benefit the most out of the 3% or whatever operation siren damage so in this case the only relevant I say anti-air that you want to use are the stag bofors so the battleships get these so I recommend doing these upgrade these for obviously because you get more damage out of it now it doesn't upgrade anti-air or whatever it's just operation siren damage so obviously I go with these um, the Dido anti-air is okay-ish but I definitely say static bofors because battleships do the most damage and these are a battleships best in slot anti-air so recommend these and the last one is aviation so aviation plates is one of the two as of right now that are usable that are going to be main guns uh, for aviation though I highly recommend if you guys want to upgrade these upgrade the Ryu stays if you guys don't know what Ryu stays are it's these things right here uh, best bossing uh, damaging planes as of right now beats out dive bombers beats out fighters torpedo bombers Ryu stays are definitely the way to go so if you're looking for something to plus 13 these are pretty pretty cheap cost about 120 to get these to plus uh, 13 can't go wrong with these at all Ryu stays now when it comes to uh, getting plates or whatever because I know the uh, the guild shop um, resets or whatever. What I do is whenever I see these, I grab main plates because main plates, you're gonna need a lot of these because aircraft is only for aircrafts, obviously. But for main guns, you have battleship guns, destroyer guns, heavy cruiser guns. Now you're not gonna use it obviously on a cruiser and destroyer guns. That's kind of dumb. Use it on battleship play, uh, guns, obviously. But you're gonna need a lot, a lot of these because they're you're <laughs> they're gonna amp up your damage by a lot. So. If you're in a guild shop, I highly recommend always cashing out on the main gun plates because these are very, very good. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a quick one. See you guys in the next video.